Alright guys, welcome to uh, sort of a mod spotlight for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you how to install Tale of Kingdoms. Now I've been playing this mod for a little bit and it is epic. It's freaking sweet. I absolutely adore it. And I hope you guys too do. Hope you guys do too. Okay, first step. Open up your Minecraft. Start a new one. As you can see, my stuff is not already saved on there. So I'm just going to enter in my... All that jazz is going to download a brand new one. And load it up. All brand new. This is for Minecraft Beta 1.8.1. Then you want to close your browser. Make sure you don't have that open. Then you go into this run. Uh percent app data percent then you'll find your dot minecraft for folder go into bin and then you want to right click extract your files if you do not have winrar I suggest downloading it or an equivalent something of that lines as long as you can extract your files and then we can take this one and get rid of it and then you want to go on this and type dot jar at the end very first thing delete this bad boy right here your meta imp folder and now the first thing you will need is a mod loader like every single mod almost every single there are some that do not require mod loader but you will need mod loader so go to uh, it'll be a, in a link to, in the description uh, click add fly just because Hey, it's uh, free money for him, and he deserves it. I mean, you're not doing anything. You're waiting five seconds. It's not that big a deal. You want to save that. I don't know why I'm doing this. And then you'll find the download for this one. Download link right here. It's another AdFly link. I'm not going to download it because I already have it. Uh, both of these links will be in the description. And then you want to open back up your Minecraft.jar and then find your downloads and then for mod loader you wanna oop, I have not bought this yet I'm gonna slide this over yeah we'll just do it this way okay then you wanna take all these files and simply just drag them over and uh, do all for next eight conflicts and then you're good you're golden and then you want to head up on this little tab right here. And then you want to find your Tale of Kingdoms mod folder. And then you want to take everything. And simply do the same thing and just throw it in your jar. And then we can open up our Minecraft. And looks like we installed it properly. Well, let's create a new world. And... Let's call this baby the. Let's make a realm. Realm. There. Jeez, beats. That was tough. Okay. Oh, more world options. No. Okay. Let's create this baby. And. In the. Dis Ooh, let me change my. Oh, I guess you guys can't see that Minecraft. We're going to switch over to Minecraft in a... S oh, I guess you can, but it's only wide. Let's switch over to full Minecraft. Okay, and we're back here. We spawn on a tree, apparently. Let's... As soon as you move a little bit, it will ask you if you'd like to start your conquest. And this will lag quite a bit because it has to build the entire terrain for you. And if... It fills in, I think, like 10 blocks below it in dirt. So, we shall find it. And I do believe it always will spawn behind you. Something like that, around there. And all these flowers are all the same as mine. On my world. I'm going to take these. Because red flowers are worth quite a bit. They're kind of overpriced. So if you want to find a good way to get started, that's one of the best ways. 
Okay, very first thing you want to do, you want to walk through this gate. These are all, these will all be generated the same. You've got your, this guy, he'll help you build the town, which we will get into later. And you got this guy who will help you wait for night. Or you can rest and he just heals your hearts. And let's go up here, follow the exact route that I am. It is one of the only way, it might be the only way to get up here. I don't know what's the only route, route that I have taken to get up here. And then you want to come down here and you'll find this guy right here. And then you want to sign up a contract. And once you do that, every monster you kill, you'll have, it'll fill like the red bar at the bottom, which I will show you what happens when it's full. Let's just jump down because I don't really care about my health. There's the 360 right there. Yeah. Um, and then you got your blacksmith over here. He's a nice guy. You could sell him items like roses. Boom. 30, 320 gold. Just like that. And then you can buy whatever's. Everything's priced differently based on the rarity of the item. So probably I'd buy this just so I'd have it to fight off the mobs. Oh, and if you talk to this guy once a day, I believe, he gives you bread. And that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Um, let's go to my other world where I did some too many items modding stuff and I basically killed a bunch. And let's go to that. And here we are back when the bar is full. See, you have a full red bar back here. And what you want to do now is go this way. Go down here. And as you can see, I do have too many items mod on, just so I can show you guys how we do when we do. Oop, past him. This guy right here, you'll be like, let's build your city. And oop, let's start building. So he'll follow you wherever you go from now on until you get five stacks of both. Uh, cobblestone and wood so let's run this way once I get far enough I will you have to be 200 blocks away from your city from the guild sorry that is the guild so let's run that way see my little training room mob spawner just to get kills so we're running and I'll meet you guys back when I find a suitable suitable spot okay I think we're far away enough far away enough now okay yeah we're definitely far away enough hopefully um let's give him all my wood and we shall build tier one city base warning when building it will destroy the area around it and make space boom and here's the space Dying below us. Why I have no idea. But let's build something. I guess we didn't need to give him that first. That's really annoying. I'm gonna turn off my sound just so I don't hear them. And okay, so you didn't need to give him that. You just build tier one city, and then you can pick an item or thing that you want to build. So let's build a item shop. As you can see, the uh, his items disappeared, and currently all of the items cost the same. So no matter what you want, it costs uh, a whole hell of a lot. And this guy will sell you fairly, well, mostly anything. So I mean, you can get. Let's see, I don't think he sells you wood. Not seeing wood on one of his items that he is selling. It doesn't look like that's an option. That's kind of sad. And he's got a nice little house. Let's build the rest of these so you guys know what they look like. Uh, just give myself a bunch of wood. And then a bunch of cobblestone. Okay, and let's just... We'll give him 
and we will build a stock market. And now what this does is this guy in here will basically the red bar you see there uh, you're basically buying at a diamond so like diamond I would buy for 421 which uh, is a hell of a deal because it's like right now it's at like 20% of the bar so you're paying 20% of full price so I mean that's a pretty good deal and yeah that's what he does let's check out his basement he's got a nice little room down here all the chests are empty of course nice little background spot really sexy and nice beautiful beautiful and let's build the next thing let's build you a hmm let's build a large house so we got some people now yay people and just a normal house with an upstairs everything there's quite a, quite a few amount of people very cool very cool uh, let's give some more wood and cobblestone and then we shall build a small house yep S standard small house you can view the inside of it when you wish and we'll give him oh looks like we ran out let's restock now I think all types of wood will work. Yes, all types of wood will work. As you can see, he took, well, I don't know about birch, but I don't really care about birch. So we shall build another small house. Beautiful. And he obviously took that and you can fix items like if a uh, creeper came and blew up your house or the people that he's adding in later the NPCs uh, come and destroy your house you can fix your house which is probably going to be a little expensive hey you're stuck <laughs> get out get out of my well get out of my well That's stupid Anyways, just a nice little well. I didn't think I was going to be able to get out of that. Uh, but, let's... We can upgrade to Tier 2 with, of course... Yes, it didn't do it. Yeah, you need another five stacks, apparently. We'll give him that. And we will upgrade to Tier 2. And what that does is it adds an extension over here four more houses and another beautiful thing called a barracks now okay I guess you can't hmm let's see do they have to be yeah they actually have to be legit 64 stacks So that was just kind of like a waste of time. I'm just gonna give me more. Give me more, give me more. Um, so let's build, uh, go to tier two buildings and there's a food shop, a uh, block shop, a barracks. So let's build, let's just build most of these. Food shop. Okay, we need more. Resources! Because I will fully upgrade this town for you guys to see. Uh, let's build barracks. Barracks! Stupid. Uh, let's build a builder house. Not sure what that does. We shall... Oh! Never mind. I realized that that is his house, apparently. Is this? Shut your face. Ah, uh, looks like this is a clay. Why is there clay here? Hmm. There's a furnace on the side of this. This guy must be the builder. Oh, nope. He's the wood. 
So you can buy item and he gives me one or ten. I believe. Let's Nope, he gives you one. So one so you could do it this way and constantly just buy a crap ton. Oh, but he does give you TNT. It's fairly overpriced. Obsidian diamond ore. It's a lot less cheaper than getting the diamond apparently. Which hey, whatever. Um so he's our blocks shop. Why I don't know. This is the food shop. So we can buy all the food here. And over here. This is the builder's house. So we shall continue to build now that we have found him. And go to tier two. Looks like we've just got the normal stuff. So I'm not gonna finish that off. So you guys don't s basically because you've already seen the houses. Um, and then we shall go to this barracks. Woo! The barracks. And this is where we can train our soldiers. Yay! Now we just talk to this guy, and then we recruit a knight for a thousand gold. An uh, archer, defender. Oh, this recalls everybody to it. So let's let's get a bunch of knights. We don't have enough gold for anything else. So we have a bunch of knights. And now I'm gonna go find some mobs, and we shall. Sh I shall show you what they do. Ah, oh, found one. As you can see. They instantly start attacking them, and once they get once one of them gets six kills, they become a knight. And the knights were the yellow guys that you seen earlier. Now you can tell him to stay. He will guard this area. They'll just kind of roam around. So you can have him guard like certain outposts, like especially your entrance over here. Have like a couple of them guard, and then we'll just have the rest follow. And they'll just wander around until they see any like NPC or NPCs or mobs that want to harm us. So that's it for this mod. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely check it out. I think it's gonna be well. It's definitely an like a great add-on to what Minecraft is and the sort of RPG role that you can add towards Minecraft. No, I hope you guys enjoy. And I believe I will be starting a series on this of me. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Maybe. Maybe. Tell me what you guys think in the comments uh, below. It's out.